The other thing we need to do is focus on what's left, not on what's lost. 2 Samuel 12, 24. David comforted his wife Bathsheba. He went to her and lay with her. She gave birth to a son. And do you know his name? Solomon. He became quite a famous guy. And Solomon. Listen, whatever happens, it's not the end. Life will get back to normal. We need to let God heal us. Isaiah 61, 3 says, To all who mourn, he will give beauty for ashes, joy instead of mourning, praise to him instead of heaviness. The other thing we need to do to have our souls restored is let God replace our grudges. You know, I feel guilty when I do something wrong. Grudges come, though, when somebody does something to me, and I decide that I'm going to hold it against them. All of us get hurt sometimes. Some of us are more sensitive than others. I can tell you after 30 plus years in the ministry, I got a high like a rhinoceros. Okay? Now, I say that also with this in mind. I can't imagine any of you, on purpose, trying to hurt me. Most of our hurts are unintentional, right? We didn't mean to do it. We didn't get up and say, man, I'm going to try and hurt Don today. It's unintentional. Okay? If you're a sensitive person and you find that your feelings get hurt, first of all, make up your mind that you are going to presume that the person who hurt you did not do it on purpose. Okay? It was unintentional. I can tell you um, that if I ever hurt your feelings, I was oblivious to it. And I did not do it intentionally. Not only am I not sensitive, in other words, I don't get hurt very easily, I'm not sensitive in the fact that I can tell if I've hurt your feelings. Any other men like this in here? Well, not, you don't want to admit it. <laughs> My wife and I would be standing side by side and someone would come in and say, good morning, good morning. Did he go? Okay. She'll whisper in my ear, what did it really hurt? What are you talking about? They said good morning. Oh no, I can tell. I'm not like that. I need the proverbial to my floor. Boom! <laughs> you hurt my feelings. Okay, then let's deal with it. Okay? Now, here's the thing. When we are hurt, whether it's intentional or unintentional, we have a choice to make. We can either be bitter about it, or make it better. And what's the difference? One letter, the letter I. I make the choice. Job 5, 2. To worry yourself to death with resentment would be a foolish, senseless thing to do. You are only hurting yourself with your anger. I want to give you an outrageous example of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> My first church, things are going along. A lady named Connie is on her way out the door. Good morning, Connie. I shake her hands. I'm really mad at you. Connie's about this tall. <laughs> Looked up to her. Oh. I said, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'd like to apologize. What did I do? You know what you did. No, I really don't. <laughs> I'd like to make it right. Tell me, I'll apologize to you. Folks, it's over 30 years later. I still know what I did. And I'll tell you what really amazed me. She kept coming to church. <laughs> Sunday after Sunday, and she'd walk out. She'd shake my hand on the way out. You know what you did. <laughs> I still don't know. I don't know what she did. When someone hurts me, I'm going to presume it was unintentional. I suggest you do the same. But when it's on purpose, when you think somebody really, you know, they want to get you, I have a suggestion, Romans 12, 19. Dear friends, never avenge yourselves. Leave it to God, for he has said he will repay those who deserve it. It's a fact. Life isn't fair. Innocent people are going to suffer. Sometimes the guilty and evil people are going to prosper. The world is a sinful place. But God says he'll settle the score someday. Murderers, child abusers, crimes of injustice, it's all going to be made right someday. Let him handle it. 
Until then, what do I do? Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. Get rid of our bitterness, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. The only way to real healing is to accept forgiveness from God and then offer that to others. So what came to your mind when I brought up feeling guilty about something? What pops into your head? What are you doing about it? Are you minimalizing it? Are you rationalizing it? Are you compromising? Are you beating yourself up over it? None of it will work. What are you hurting about? You know, holding a grudge against somebody hurts you, not them. Most likely, that person doesn't even know you're mad at them. Are you ready to be forgiven? And to forgive? It's offered to you. Let's pray. <coughs> Lord, I thank you that, first of all, we can know that whatever we have done wrong can be forgiven. And you can help us to forgive others. We can have a clear, clean conscience. We can sleep good at night. We also know that conscience can become callous. We just keep minimalizing and doing the same things over and over again. I'm thankful for your faithfulness of your Holy 